Hi, this is Ivera from CVP. Uh, today we are at the DJI booth uh, to talk through the various accessories that DJI are either releasing or showcasing or have announced uh, at the show. So, first we'll start with the Master Wheels. Uh, this has been announced a while ago. It's always been in a prototype and in alpha stages, and now this is the actual end unit. And this is what we see here today is a DJI World Star shipping. So, the Master Wheels, you may be familiar with the, the concept of wheels, as it's been a bit more popular recently uh, in the last few years uh, with brands like Waterclass In and uh, 1A Tools with their Alpha Wheels. So now DJI have done their own version, which will be compatible with uh, the Ronin 2. The configuration we have over here will have three different axes, so they're all detachable. You can buy it as a set of three, which will cost you around $8,000, or you can buy it just with two wheels. So in general, this is what people would go for, so they have control over their pan and the tilt. You don't really need control over the roll that much, uh, and this would set you back around $6,000. Uh, and then you can buy a single channel if you wanted to, uh, just the way it is in a block and that will cost you 2500 This will work on the, uh, just a regular radio frequency, so 2.4 gig or 5, you can uh, choose that within the menu. But also, uh, and this is a really good option, they actually have a hard wired mode, so they will be selling a cable which will be around 30 meters long. Uh, which is really good in complex situations where you may get a lot of interference from other signals or you just don't want to uh, to gamble on, uh, on on that one shot that you can't mess up. So having a hardwired solution, which not a lot of other brands out there is, is invaluable. The unit itself, uh, you'll be familiar with the front panel. It's similar to, if not identical, to that of the Ronin 2 and you can control the settings of the Ronin 2 as well as the settings of the wheels. Another great feature of the Master Wheels is the ability to record your motion. So what I mean by this is you'll be able to set different key points with the Ronin 2, save it and the Master Wheels will automatically pay them back for you. The system itself is extremely modular so you'll be able to literally pop the wheels out and put them on whichever side you feel more comfortable. So you could have your pan and tilt uh, on the side or you can just uh, remove one of the wheels and uh, lock it into the middle position. So it will run off the Inspire 2 batteries. It's got a lot of power outputs, uh, which is again, little details like this with DJI really thought through because when you have a system like this, having a monitor, being able to power the monitor via the master wheels, being able to power your Teradex system via the master wheels as well and creating one complete solution without necessarily having an NPF here, an LP6 here and an Inspire 2 battery powers everything. Mounting points, again, you know, they thought about this, so you got quarter inch, three eighths all around. So both at the top and at the back, if you want to attach any longer arms or anything else for that matter. Base plates, uh, same thing, mounting points everywhere. So really easy for you to either attach it to a tripod or just straight onto a Mitchell head uh, or, uh, or just lay it flat on the table. Or if you're using at the back of a tracking a vehicle, etc. there's all the mounting options out there. So now onto the DJI Force here. So you may be familiar again with the concept which was uh, introduced by uh, Freefly Systems and their Mimic. So now DJI have carried on with that idea and have introduced their Force unit. Now, uh, for those who are familiar with the Mimic, uh, the Mimic will be about this size. So you can see it's substantially uh, bigger than, uh, uh, than Freefly's option, but it does have uh, a fair amount more control uh, than what Freefly offer. So the basics of it is that you'll be able to control your gimbal with movement. So it's basically mimicking your movements in a way that you'll be able to control it instead of you using a joystick or uh, the remote controller. A good way of doing this is attaching it like you have here on the handlebar, mounting everything else around it. Uh, this is quite big and heavy. I don't think this would be the best way of uh, mounting everything. A good way of uh, doing this would be with the new small EG monitor, so either 703 volt or the small EG focus uh, with a built-in uh, wireless receiver, so you don't have any cables dangling around. All you need to do is literally attach the focus at the back of it, and then you'd, instead of holding this whole rig here, you'd literally be holding a monitor with the force behind it, and you'd be able to pan, tilt, roll, and just feel immersed into what you're shooting with your uh, Ronin tube. So, there we go.
that's the force. So now here we've got the, the Ronin S. I'm sure everybody's familiar with it already, but uh, we'll have just a very quick look around at what DJI are offering here. DJI introduced this a while ago, but they have made a few changes and have upgraded uh, some parts of, uh, of it to bring and pack it with as many features as they possibly can. So very quickly, uh, very simplistic um, layout here, which is what you need. You don't want to be overwhelmed with 50 different buttons, 50 different functionalities, just two different buttons, one joystick. So the joystick here will control the movement of the camera. The, this button here, the M stands for mode. So you'll be able to switch between mode one, mode two, mode three. These modes are presets you will create and you will fine tune via the app. Now over here, uh, they've got those two little accessories here. The little focus wheel here has been screwed onto this display panel and this display panel has been attached onto uh, Ronin S. And you have the exact same connector on uh, the other side. Here, the little focus wheel, again, is detachable. So if you want it, uh, and the way I would picture myself using it would be to have uh, that focus knob on this side and being able to quickly control it with my thumb so I can still keep the second hand free. If not, you can just use your two hands and have one holding the gimbal and the other one controlling the focus. At the front here, uh, got quick button. So if you press it twice, it uh, recenters the camera. Press it three times and it goes into uh, self-shooting mode. And then if you just press and hold, it locks all the accesses. Payloads, uh, there's no official answer from DJI. I'm not sure why, uh, but you're looking at around four kilos, uh, give or take. So a nice little feature about the Ronin Ends that I personally like is uh, the angled row motor. Uh, it seems like a very simple design, but it does help in, first of all, clearing out the view uh, at the back of your uh, DSLR mirrorless camera and whatnot, but also in allowing you to put uh, bigger, longer packages. So, uh, you know, uh, an FS5, for example, which is a fairly light camera, but can get quite long once started in your lens, etc., uh, will be able to fit on there. Will you be able to balance it perfectly? That's another story that remains to be tested. Uh, but that's it, that's the Ronin S. And now, uh, here's DJI's uh, battery station. So you've got uh, eight slots in here for your TB50 batteries. Uh, you've got four more slots here just to leave them in the case hanging uh, when you're traveling around so you can carry 12 batteries within total. And you get extra slots over here for Osmo batteries or Crystal Line uh, batteries as well. The way this works is just charges the batteries, but it will allow you to discharge them through the control panel. You'll be able to monitor every single battery, see its life cycle, see the voltage, see how healthy the cells are or not, and uh, just overall a, a great way of maintaining all your batteries. So this is especially important for all the drone flyers out there. So all of you owning, they inspire you. Uh, if you need to do a full day of shooting, you're definitely going to be bringing a fair amount of batteries, six, eight, ten a lot more potentially and having everything in one compact solution so that's it basically. Uh, these are the key products that DJI are showcasing uh, here at NAB 2018. If you want to demo any of those products and see them before you purchase just get in touch with us as well and ask for the demo team at CDP and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks.